Hey guys, welcome to the channel and another video. Today I'm going to be watching Shaun of the Dead by Edgar Wright, starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. I'm a huge, huge fan of Edgar Wright. I think he's one of the best filmmakers working today. I've watched quite a few of his films off the channel, including uh, Scott Pilgrim, uh, Baby Driver, uh, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. Weirdly, I still haven't watched one of his most famous films, I believe his first breakout movie, worldwide hit, Shaun of the Dead, I know about it. And I know that it's a part of his unofficial trilogy along with uh, Hot Fuzz and The World's End. I've already watched those, thankfully, um, and I know that they're not like directly related, so that's great. Uh, Edgar Wright, he is a comedic genius. Uh, he has unparalleled editing skills, at, at least with his editor, and uh, his cinematography, the style works perfectly with the action. Uh, sometimes he actually times the action with the score, which I think is just brilliant. He's done that a bunch of times in uh, Baby Driver, I believe. He's made mostly comedy films, I believe, uh, but recently he did a sort of a horror film called Last Night in Soho, which I haven't watched yet, so if that is worth reviewing, please let me know. I'd love to check it out because it's a completely different genre. Because I think a lot of usually comedian filmmakers, uh, when they move to drama or horror, it doesn't work, but I'm guessing it does because Edgar Wright is brilliant and I've seen Jordan Peele doing uh, horror films recently, I've seen Adam McKay doing drama recently, they, they all came from comedy, so if it's worth watching, please let me know. About this movie, I know a little about it. I believe it's a zombie invasion in the UK and we get to follow around Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, which will be hilarious, I hope. I haven't watched this movie, but I have seen a video essay about um, Edgar Wright by uh, a famous YouTuber. I think uh, Every Frame of Painting is, is the name. It was brilliant. It talks about a couple of scenes in the movie. That's about it. That's all I know to expect. But before we get into it, to help support the channel, I have a Patreon page for full length reviews and reactions to this movie. And over 260 movies, two TV shows, early access, and weekly posts for what to watch next. Please consider a Patreon. Please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos. Like if you like this video. Feel free to dislike it if you didn't. With all that being said, let's get started. Shaun of the Dead. All right. Peg. Frost. Let's go. We've been watching a lot of action films recently, so I'm really excited to get into a comedy. <laughs> Sean. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Ed, it's not that I don't like you. Oh, he's his best friend. Of course he is. Spend a bit more time together. Bollocks. Just the two of us. Cock it. Wow. It's, I really love it. Look at the editing. Look at the writing. It's not that I don't like David and Donnie, you know. Guys, it's not that I don't like you. Right. They're all here. It's your anniversary soon, isn't it? It was last week. Oh, did you do anything special? We came here. Oh, to the pub. Oh, listen to me. Yeah, How can you sound like your mum? Not that I know what she sounds like. You still haven't met his mum. Not yet. But I love his mum. Ed. She's like butter. Ed. All right, I book a restaurant. You know, the, the place that does all the fish. Just the two of us. I mean, she seems enthusiastic, but no man but what a what a great opening scene right just from that three minutes we got to know about sean his relationship his best friend the first three minutes just introduced us to a bunch of characters and their relationships sean of the dead i don't think the zombie infestation has started yet but it's again great visual storytelling I wonder why your girlfriend doesn't like Ed. Edgar Wright, he's known for his transitions. I'm not saying it was you. I know, man. I'm saying it was Ed. Right. can't believe he was this good this early on in his career. I've known him since primary school. You know, I like having him around. He's a laugh. Well, because he can impersonate an orangutan. All three of them live together. Could you please clean up a bit? Yep. And if you play the answer machine, could you take down everyone's messages, not just your own? Yep. It's just going through one ear cup. <laughs> Dom, oh, come on, it was pretty funny. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Sean. <sighs> it's all right. No, no. I'm sorry, Sean. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's rotten! I'll stop doing them when you start laughing. I am not laughing, keep going. I mean, yeah, they're childhood friends, so I get it. Some change, please, mister. Uh, yeah. Man, Edgar Wright's camera work is immaculate. You don't need a hundred million dollars to make a visually pleasing movie, honestly. Not beer today? No, that's a bit early for me. <laughs> no beer today. Gather round, everyone. Gather round, please. <gasps> Continue. Yeah, nobody respects him. News. All the basic uh, news channels. I love the visual exposition. Philip. Hey, I know this actor. Build something. Perhaps you could bring the flowers you forgot to bring Barbara on Mother's Day. I was gonna. And not a cheap posy from a garage forecourt. I wasn't gonna. More military trucks. I told you said this wasn't a social gathering. No, no matter what you might think, okay, I do not find it difficult to keep my work and my social life separate. Sure. It's Liz for you. Goodbye, Liz. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Did he even register the 8 o'clock thing? <laughs> Sir. Even though these scenes are very intimate with one or two actors, things are always happening in the background. I love that. Oh my Jeez. god! Sean! It's no. on. So many jump scares so far. You still with Liz? That's great. Glad somebody made it. <laughs> Come on! And now he remembers the date. What am I gonna do? Where are we gonna go? The Winchester. Don't be stupid. Not again. What's the plan then? Um, there is no plan. You didn't book it, did you, Sean? No. So, what is the plan then? Don't say it, don't say it, don't say the it. The Winchester? Go out, you know, let's go somewhere and have a laugh. Things will be fine, I promise. Basically, I'd say your nine lives were up, Sean. Get fucked, Four Eyes! What do you go out there, you love her so much? <gasps> to a wonderful mum. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And he's going to end up exactly where he does every night, probably the Winchester. If she stayed with me, she'd end up coming in here every night for the rest of her life like these sad old fuckers. These are rich, interesting characters. Like who? Cockasidal maniac. <laughs> <laughs> She's an ex-porn star. She's done it all. Yeah, he's just making stuff up, but it's funny. Oh, got loop. Cafe Olé. It's not the end of the world. But it literally is. There's always so much going on in Edgar Wright movies. There's the auditory stuff, and there's the visual stuff. Oh! <laughs> they have no idea. It's fucking ill. That can you see why I'm so fucking angry? There's something on his arm, his hand. Fuck! Oh, leave him alone! Stop defending him, Sean. All he ever does is hold you back. Or does it make your life easier having someone around who's more of a loser than you are? Ah. What's that supposed to mean? You know what I mean. I love that everything's happening around them and they're just so involved in their own world, they have like, no idea. Wow, what a beautiful transition. Dude. Zombies. We've seen him do this exact walk yesterday. And it's all different, but he has, he hasn't noticed. I don't know whether I should laugh or be horrified. I wonder where the story is going from here, because everything's already pretty messed up. The unifying detail seems to be that the attackers in many instances appear to be dead excited to have with us wow. here a sensational chart topping. This is one of the best examples of visual exposition I've ever seen in movies. So creative. Excuse me. 
She's so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and hold it there. And just get her off me! Jeez! <laughs> For a movie with such a small budget, uh, this is really well done. I think we should go back inside. Okay. The timing of, of, the, of that little sound effect. They still out there. <laughs> yeah. That's something uh, Edgar Wright uses very often, the there and back again. I love this movie already. It's probably the funniest film I've seen all year, so far. In the first 30 minutes. I mean, how do we kill the zombies in this universe? Removing the head or destroying the there brain. I'll repeat that. Hey! Thank goodness the zombies in this movie are slow. No, no, that's the second album I ever bought! Yeah. No! Mm. Purple Rain. Oh, uh, Sign of the Time. Definitely not. I love this. Oh, we have a cricket bat and a... shovel. Yikes. Uh, Sean, there's a little red on you. A red on you. Attackers. If you know someone who has been bitten... Pete! Oi, right, prick! Mum, have you been bitten? Oh, okay. Has she been bitten? <laughs> no, Philip has. Oh, okay. Listen, Mum, what sort of state is he in? Oh, he's fine. What's the plan? It looks like Ed finally right. has a purpose in life. We go in, uh, take care of Philip. I'm so sorry, Philip. Why have we got to go to Lizzie's? I want to be somewhere familiar, I want to know where the exits are, and I want to be allowed to smoke. The Winchester? Go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. All right, now we have a mission. Any zombies out there? Don't say that. Oh, no, there they are. Okay, let's do uh, oh, can I drive? Just walk away, my man. Let's go downstairs. He doesn't notice you. Peter would be so pissed off if he knew I was driving his car, eh? I don't think so. <laughs> Fine. Are you alright? Oh, thank God for that. Oh, I've always wanted to drive one of those. You've got red on you. Yeah. Look, Mum, um, is everything okay? You all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm so sorry, Philip. Why? Yeah. What have you done now? He hasn't turned yet. Mum, he chased me around the garden with a bit of wood. Well, you did call him a you-know-what. Oh, what? Did he tell you that? Yes, he did. Motherfucker. Sean. Sorry, Mother. Mum. <laughs> Did you know that on several occasions he touched me? That wasn't true. Made it up. Shouldn't have done. Sorry. You must be more adult about these things. Yeah. Come on, Sean. Love these musical cues. I love these visual cues and these musical cues and how they work together to Hello, bring a scene to life. Hi, Barbara. We pranged it. We were parked. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll have to take the jag. <laughs> We have to take the jag now. Philip, give me the car keys. You're not driving that car. Philip, give me the car keys. Hey, get mum in the car. They're going to wreck this jag, aren't they? Listen, okay, keep moving. If there's any problems, yeah, yeah. I'll do the honk. <laughs> Yo, he made it. Guys, can you let me in, please? Doing? I've come to get you. I've come to take you somewhere safe. We, we, we were perfectly safe before you arrived. We need to be somewhere more secure, somewhere on the ground, somewhere we can stay alive. I'm not going if Lizzie's not going. Of course she's going. Well, I'm not staying here by myself. You're going on your list? I think he is in love with Liz because he was like, I'm not going if Liz is not going. So what? what's the plan then? We'll go to the Winchester. <laughs> what's up, niggas? They're fast, yeah? yeah. And uh, Mum, this is Liz. Liz, Mum. Hello. Oh, my father, it's not easy. 
I always loved you, Sean. There's a good boy. Wow, that was surprisingly emotional. Mum, it's Philip. He's gone. No, he isn't. <sighs> Get out! Get out! Oh man, the child safety lock's on. Okay, I know it looks like him, but there is nothing of the man you loved in that car now. Nothing! <sighs> Let's go, shall we? <laughs> Maybe this is the best time to talk about it. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, it's the friend. I know he was in other Edgar Wright films, but I didn't expect him here. This is like 2004. This is Sean and his girlfriend Liz. They split up, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a shame. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, they're literal, literal mirrors of each other, the groups. <laughs> they're wearing the same thing. See? What did I say? The Winchester's just over there. I'm taking a shortcut before. <laughs> I've seen this scene in that video essay. It's so funny. <laughs> what are you doing? Is it clear? No. How many? Edgar Wright just did the there and back again, but differently. <laughs> now, take another look at the way he moves. Remember, oh. very limp. Almost like sleepwalking. <laughs> We're going to try and impersonate nice. them Good to get into work. Winchester. Okay. Barbara, that's excellent. Sorry, dear, I was miles away. <laughs> Daphs? <laughs> what is that? What about yours? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Right. Well, it, it is working. Two seconds. <laughs> hey, Noodle. Yeah, man, I can't really talk now. Did you get anything yet? I've got nothing. You fuck off! Fuck fucking off! Oh. I've spent my entire life sticking my neck out for you, and all you ever do is fuck things up! That's true. Oh. <laughs> you were saying about another way in? Get inside! Don't, don't follow us! Why aren't they just biting him? Okay, wait till I've gone, then get inside! Come on! Yeah. I won't be long, I promise! Come on, you bitch! Wow, he's actually sacrificing himself. So there's nobody at the Winchester? He's been gone a good 20 minutes. Lizzie, how can you put your faith in a man you spectacularly binned for being unreliable? I don't know any more than you do, but what I do know is that we're here now and we have to make the best of it. He's back. Hello, Mum. All right? And looks like Liz is a little proud. Well, how did you get in? There is a back door, David. Might be a bit warm, the cooler's off. Thanks, babe. It's interesting how they have every single actor here, their faces lit, except um, David, who's in the dark, spatially separated from the rest of the group, which I find interesting. It's the fuses. I'll just flip them back on. We can watch television. What about the lights? Yes. We don't want to advertise our whereabouts more than we already have. <laughs> they followed me. Did you give him a slip? Well, that's what he thought too. No, dude. It's too late. They've already heard you, my friend. Man, it's amazing what they can do with such a tiny budget. Like, it's a small cast. Uh, the shooting locations aren't very varied. The writing, directing, cinematography, music, they're all immaculate. Look how the action is timed with the music. It's just perfection. Wow, man. This is amazing, honestly. Why don't you just shoot him, man? For the last time. It... Yo, is she bit? I thought Sean would be worried. Liz? I thought right, mom. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's just, it just, he doesn't like me. He's always hated me and now he wants to shoot my mom. She's not. Oh, come on. We all know you're in love with Liz. <gasps> that is not true. Yes, it is. That is not true. Yes, it is. In a minute, you'll be just another zombie. Don't say that. We're not using the dead word. I know you don't want to hear this. <laughs> I did not expect this to get emotional, this movie. Incredible performance from Simon Pegg, by the way. The range. <laughs> You did the right thing there. David, no! 
<gasps> he actually pulled the trigger. What? Not staying here. David, don't it's suicide. I'm so sorry, Diane. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> The moment he started to apologize, yeah, he's gone. Oh, what the? All right. Yeah, okay. Diane just sacrificed herself. They're dead. It's only the three of them. Oh, no, dude, not. Yeah. Ten minutes ago, they were all alive, and then now it's just the two of them. Well, and Ed, but yeah, I don't think he'll make it. Give us a fucking break! I, again, I love how that played out. Sean said, give us a break, and the next thing you know, the bullet shoots themselves. None of this movie is realistic, and it doesn't have to be. I couldn't save us, you know, I couldn't save Di or David, I couldn't even save my mom. I think... Sean might sacrifice himself to get Liz out. I might just stay here. Yeah, but we can get out. I think you two should make a go of it. What are you talking about? I only held you back. I'm sorry, Sean. Oh, God, <laughs> That's not funny. This is this is an oddly emotional movie, guys. You can see the amount of noise in the camera. I don't know whether it's a budget thing or a choice from right. I think it's a budget thing. Ooh, it's the army! Oh my god! Shoot! It's the friend! So just the two of you? Glad somebody made it. Come on. Who fought off the reanimated corpses of his entire family? They're commercializing it. They're calling it Z Day. <laughs> but he's my husband, you know. I still love him. I've still got the ring on my finger, Trisha. You go to bed with it? I've now been dismissed as Bob. Oh, man. Look at everybody's picture in the background. That's his little sanctuary. Play Why video games. Has entered the game. Ah. Ed! Oh. Yes. You have no idea how happy this just made me. <laughs> Written by Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright. That was a fantastic film. I don't have any flaws whatsoever. That was that was as close to perfect. Okay, I took. Some time to collect my thoughts. First off, that was an amazing movie. You could see from my reaction. This was the best comedy I've seen this year, easily. And also one of my favorite comedies I've ever seen. It's already in my top 25 and that'll just go up, I bet. I was surprised by how much heart it had by the end. I'll say once again, Edgar Wright is one of the best filmmakers working today period. And this film just reinforced that notion. I don't have any criticisms of this movie at all. The writing was brilliant. The directing was brilliant. The editing was brilliant. The score was brilliant. <laughs> and so were the performances, choreography, and the unfolding of this story itself. I really can't think of anything bad to say, honestly. If you have any criticisms of the movie, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know because I couldn't find any. Let's start with the directing by Edgar Wright and the script from him and Simon Pegg. The story here was pretty straightforward, but that's not what the surprising thing here is. It was the execution. Even in the first five minutes, we are already introduced to our main characters, their relationship with each other, uh, all, also while giving hints that the world is about to end in the background, all in five minutes. Even better, news is that every single character um they were so well written with their own personality traits and uh, story arcs which made them feel like they were real people the first half of the movie was essentially a setup and a lot of filmmakers in this position get this part wrong with over exposition too much talking or too many characters introduced with too many names and stuff 
here the visuals and audio they were the um exposition we didn't have the main character explain every single beat of the story to us no edgar Wright does not do that it's all in the background we got to know about the zombies uh throughout the first half of the movie instead of hearing it from you know our lead actors and we got constant hints of things going wrong from the tv things happening in the background wow uh the second half was more i would say it was a rescue mission with varying degrees of success only two of them survived well two and a half <laughs> what i didn't expect in all at all were um the emotional beats by the end i almost steered up when sean had to kill his zombie mom i loved how ed didn't die at the end for playing video games he was all chained up <laughs> in the shed <laughs> but i do feel a little well about david his character was pretty annoying but i i i did have a little sympathy for him by the end but i didn't understand why diane sacrificed herself because i guess she was in love with david even though david was upset with liz well at least he was apologetic at the end um the standout performance had to be from silent peg right i thought he would he'd be a goofball all the way to the end but he really showed incredible range, especially when he was in tears, uh, losing his mom, almost losing Liz. Ed, man, um, when things were getting serious, you could really see his range. The rest of the production was really great too. For such a small film, they really utilized their budget smartly, but more importantly, they were creative with it. Uh, from the insane transitions to the visual gags, the auditory stuff, the constant uh, stimulation. It really helped with the flow of the movie, if that makes any sense. And um, it also went a long way in the visual experience uh, for the audience because I was always engaged. This really felt like a tight 100-minute movie. And the main reason for that is, and for me, one of the highlights of the film, it was the editing. The editor here gets a lot of credit. I don't know who did the editing. I kind of skipped over the credits by the at the end, but I know Edgar Wright's style, and, and, and I saw his fingerprints all over the film, especially in those uh, cuts and transitions. He was already such a competent filmmaker, even so early in his career. I cannot wait to see what he does in the future. Finally, the score was insanely good too, but unlike a lot of other films, this, this music felt diegetic. It felt a part of the world itself. Um, the combination of the music and the action was done so well that I'm having a hard time in separating the two. Amazing stuff. Overall, Shaun of the Dead is an instant classic. Among Edgar Wright's best work, this movie had the emotional, horrified, but laughing the entire perfectly edited and directed 100 minutes. From the standout performances by um, Simon Pegg to the incredible incredibly creative execution of the story uh through visual and auditory gags i loved every single second and i literally have nothing negative to say about this film at all i only have one edgar wright film left to watch last night in soho and i think I, I haven't watched his first film either i forgot the name anyway one major film i have left to watch uh, if, please let me know if it's worth the watch on the channel because uh, I'm going to watch it regardless. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I have a Patreon page. Please consider me a Patreon. Please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos. Like if you like this video. Feel free to dislike it if you didn't. I will see you in the next one. Bye.